randomization is a process of sequentially allocating treatments to participants in a clinical trial. We use chance in the form of a computer-generated coin toss or dice roll to produce an ordered list of treatment allocations. As participants are enrolled into the trial, they receive the next available allocation on the list. In this way, participants are allocated at random to a treatment group. But the trial participants are not clones of one another. They differ in ways that could affect how the treatment works, such as severity of disease or their age or their medical history. If we didn't use randomization and, for example, placed all of the younger participants on an existing treatment and all of the older participants with more severe disease on the new treatment, then we would obtain a bias estimate of how well this new treatment works. Sometimes this treatment allocation bias can be much more subtle or even subconscious. The purpose of randomization is to minimize bias when we compare treatment groups. Confounding in a clinical trial is where the effect of the treatment is mixed up with another factor, such as the age or severity of disease again. Confounding can occur at baseline, where the underlying characteristics of the participants are dissimilar or unbalanced between the treatment groups. The process of randomization, usually with equal allocation to the different treatment groups, helps to balance these factors and ensure an unbiased estimate of treatment effect. Rather than assign a fixed proportion of participants to each treatment, there may be an advantage to varying these proportions over time. For example, if one treatment is looking better than another, we might want to start assigning more people to the better performing treatment. This helps to guarantee that by the time you have clearly shown one treatment to be best, most participants will have received that treatment. Sometimes we want to study a number of treatments at once, so we may have many arms or treatment groups to analyse. If we fixed the proportion of participants in each arm so they were equal for all treatments, it would take a very long time to know which treatment is best. In an adaptive trial, we can adapt the randomization ratios over time based on how well people respond to each treatment. For each treatment, we use the accumulated data to work out the probability that it's better than all others. With this information, we can update or adapt the randomization proportions to favor the better performing treatments. This means that new people coming into the trial will be more likely to receive better performing treatments. It also means that we can more rapidly drop any treatments that are clearly not the best, focusing our efforts instead on the best performing treatments. <music>